In this video, we're going to cover just the basics. If you're the type of person that likes to learn by playing, this will be enough information to get you started. Let's start by adding a platform. Select the Mission Builder tab. To add a platform to the mission, click Add, and then bring your cursors into the mission area and left-click on the location where you want your platform to appear. Don't worry, you can move the platform at any time. To do this, hold down the Control key, left-click on the platform's icon, and then drag it with the mouse, and then release the mouse button to drop it at its new location. Notice that wherever I move this A10, his nose is always pointed towards waypoint 1, and there's a black line drawn out of his nose. This means that he's in intent mode. That means that the A10 is following its route. So in this case, he will fly to waypoint 1, then 2, and so on. If we want to change the location of a waypoint, we can move it exactly the same way that we move the A10, by holding down the control button and dragging the waypoint to its new location. Now I'll press play to get him flying. If I click on the Andy control tab and type in a heading, he will go into delta mode. Delta mode means that he has deviated from his intended route. The biggest clue that he's in delta mode is that the black line has turned white. Take note, when an entity is in delta mode, he'll keep doing what you last told him. If I tell this A-10 to fly north and forget about him, he will eventually go to the North Pole. Another way to get into the delta mode is to click on the black line and drag it to a point on the map. To get the A-10 back on the planned course, simply click on the intent button found in the entity control panel. Alternately, you can right-click on the white line and it will turn black, indicating that the entity has returned to its intent. If you right-click anywhere in the mission area, this map area right here, you will bring up a context menu that will give you many options. You can right-click on waypoints, the chart, and the entity itself to bring up various controls. Another thing to get you started here are sites. Sites are like platforms in the way that they can carry sensors and weapons, but they are on light platforms in that they don't have any waypoints and they don't move on their own. Like platforms, sites can be added anytime when the mission is running or while it's stopped. I'm going to put a 2S6 right off the nose of this A10. You'll see that as soon as I placed him, he started to scan the sky and engage the A10. Remember, you can move these entities at any time. And if you don't want the A10 to get shot down, you can always hold down the control key, left click on the site, and move him away from the A10. Also remember that I can change a lot of things on the context menu when I right click on it. I can make him a blue team and consider the A10 a friendly aircraft. I could temporarily kill him or change him to a decoy. There are a lot of options. Know that while you're learning, you can always stop the mission if things are getting out of control. Speaking of stop buttons, let me show you one last thing. I'll add an early warning site. Since I just created an incomplete integrated air defense system, the simulation isn't ready yet. I would have to add the rest of the doctrinal IADs to get the mission working correctly. So if you ever come across a grayed out play button, that is what's going on. For more information about building an IADs, please see the MACE tutorial video, Building a Basic IADs. So that should be enough to get you playing with MACE. Please watch our other videos for step-by-step -step instructions on the software's features.